and welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. This is part of a series of videos where I'm analyzing animation from a technical perspective. In this video, I'm going to be talking about character animation. Now, that has different meanings in different contexts. In this case, I'm looking at how a character's personality is expressed through animation differently from another character's personality. Now there's this law in hand-drawn Disney style animation that says that personality is expressed through motion. So a character's personality is shown by showing how the character moves around. Look at Beauty and the Beast for example. Belle moves with this ballet-like grace that has a lot of economy of motion. In other words, she's not running all over the place. While the Beast has lots of turns and moves very violently, jumping all over the place. This is less common in anime, where the animation is farmed out among so many people uh, and is done so quickly that there's no time to build a library of character movement. Anime's solution is to focus on posture. This is part of anime's general focus on still image as opposed to uh, fluid movement. A good example is original mobile suit Gundam. Kai usually stands slouched over and moves in this slinky, kind of snake-like way. While Bright always stands ramrod straight and walks around like he's in a military review, very stiff and formal. Another aspect of this is difference in animators' personal style. Anime will not typically assign one animator to one particular character, but will instead assign animators based on their talents and skills. As a result, an animator will often get assigned to a particular character's shot because that character can bring out something about the character better than another animator on that particular shot. For example, Norio Matsumoto is known for showing characters interacting in three dimensions particularly well. He excels at showing characters spinning and moving around each other even while the camera is kind of spinning around them. He does a lot of work on Naruto, and Naruto is a great example of this. While you won't have one particular animator animating Sasuke or Sakura or Naruto or whoever, individual animators will get assigned to a particular shot because they can showcase that particular attack or that particular character's emotion in that shot. As a result, anime has less character animation in the Disney style sense. Instead, it uses individual animators to their best, but that's getting into a whole nother video. So that's a quick introduction to how character and personality animation is handled in anime versus other styles. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching.